How the hell are they, neighbor? You know? Okay. So the the state of play came out earlier today, and here is about the lowdown of what's to come. First, we got a few new PSVR games coming out in 2019. First, there was a little bit of gameplay footage that was released for a game called Falcon Age, which is expected on the 9th, here in like two weeks or so. It, it showed a, different screenshots of just you holding a falcon, obviously looking through the, the thing, through your eyes, and doing different gestures with, with the birds, and walking somewhere. I, I'm not even sure what, but that one is expected on the on the 9th of April. Next up we have Table of Tales. That one is of course a third person RPG as you can probably see. That one is expected on the 16th. It kind of seemed like it was like it was aimed like it, it was built similar to Astrobot Rescue or Moth where you, you control this this character on screen but they're going to be they're going to be doing all the actions that that you're able to see that you want to be able to do next up we have jupiter and mars honestly i i couldn't really make heads or tails of what was going on but uh, from what little i could figure out that one is an RPG, I think. Eh. And then next up we have Everybody's Golf. That one is expected on the 21st of May. And if you know anything about golf, you know that you have to shoot stuff like all the time. Yeah, you have, you have to shoot at your the other team and you got to shoot holes all the time. You know, that that's what golf is, right? You shoot stuff. And then next up we have Blood and Truth. That one looks amazing. Okay, so that one is expected for on the 28th of May. Seems to be like a triple A AAA game that we can expect a, a full fledged 40, 50, 60 dollar price tag on. So you, from what little is shown in that gameplay trailer, you're going to be saving your family, and you're going to be shooting stuff, and you're going to be progressing through this story, sort of like an action RPG. There, there's going to be this whole story unfolding where you're going to be able to figure out what is going on, saving people, and shooting stuff gonna be a nice change of pace from what few RPGs you can find on PlayStation VR. Next up we have Trover Saves the Universe. That one is expected on the 31st of May, right at the end. It, there, there wasn't a whole lot of footage that was released in, in this gameplay trailer, however, it seemed along the same lines as well, honestly, watching it reminded me of Rick and Morty, to be completely honest with you. It, it just kind of had that, that vibe where there, there's going to be a lot of sarcasm and a lot of story, but like on, on at the same time, there won't be a whole lot to get done. You know what I mean? Next up, we have Five Nights at Freddy's in VR. That one is expected to launch at some point in spring of 2019. So it could be like April or May. Yeah, April or May in here in 2019. And if you know anything about the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, it, it's going to be like a thriller slash horror game. And all, all the same characters are still going to be in the thing. What, what is it now? Like 20, 30 characters in the franchise? This one is going to be built on previous history, legacy, 
story, what, whatever you want to call it. It's still going to, it's just going to be like the next iteration of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. It's still going to have all the same massive universe of characters that you can expect out of Five Nights at Freddy's. Next up, we have Mini Mech Mayhem. That one you can expect in on the 18th of June. And from what little there was, it kind of seemed like a, a tabletop MOBA. Like you you're gonna be on you're gonna be overlooking a screen, but a table or something, what whatever you want to call it. You're gonna be overlooking an arena where everything is gonna be happening. And every, all the, the fighting and movement and all that stuff. You are going to be controlling all of your characters. I It might be turn-based, I think. Because you're only able to move one piece at a time. So it, it seems like it would be turn-based. Next up, we have Vacation Simulator. Um... I, I guess after you take your after you go to work, everybody needs a vacation, right? So after you finish job simulator, you can play vacation simulator. That that's a thing, right? That one's also expected to come out in June twenty eighth uh, on June eighteenth. So I I guess keep that keep an eye out for that if you did enjoy job simulator, you can play vacation simulator now. And if you didn't already see, uh, No Man's Sky Beyond is expected to come out summer, at some point in the summer, 2019. That one is going to be a free update to No Man's Sky. So there isn't, isn't going to be like a, a paid thing, a, a paid DLC or whatever, or a paid game. It's just going to be a free update to those that already own No Man's Sky. Making this game even more useful, enjoyable, playable, everything, so that you can play No Man's Sky in VR. Once again, that one is expected to, that update is expected to come for free in the summer. And that is an update similar to the Moon Crash update that we got for Prey earlier this year, or late last year. I can't remember. And then we also have Concrete Genie, which we can expect in the fall. From it, it from the gameplay and trailer that gameplay footage that we saw in the trailer in the video, one thing we can expect is that it's gonna be like an adventure based story RPG type deal where you're gonna be trying to paint a story painting creatures on the walls of I don't know like New York City or something you you play as this teenager and you're going to be well you end up finding a magic wand or something and you're going to be painting your story throughout New York City or wherever you are and then this one didn't have a release date, just that it was releasing in 2019. Iron Man VR. This one is likely to beat the Batman VR we got at, at the PlayStation VR's launch. This one, like I said, Iron Man VR coming out sometime 2019. You're going to be starting out in the suit. That, that's all it says. That, that's all the gameplay trailer was. Was you in the suit doing stuff. It, it didn't, didn't say anything about fighting. Didn't show anything about fighting. Didn't show anything about saving buildings or anything. It, it just had you in the suit. So as far as what substance there is, is to be determined. Um, now, as far as other games go that aren't VR, 
there's a couple that came that are scheduled for 2019. First one is called Observation. So this one has a different kind of premise. So you're going to be in space, out off, out out in the middle of the solar system, somewhere in space. Not not maybe not even in the solar system, just somewhere in space. And you're going to be communicating to this other officer about stuff that's going on in the space station. But you aren't going to be an astronaut. You're going to be the space station itself. And there's, there's all this crazy stuff going on in the space station, but you're communicating all this stuff to the officer, but eh, how that would work is beyond me. The other game that we can expect for 2019 is called Ready Set Heroes. The only thing we know is that it's scheduled for 2019. Has it's it's a, a 2v2 game mode, has local and online multiplayer. And from what little there was known, it's it's very similar to the Gambit mode in Destiny 2, where you end up running through all these enemies, running through dungeons and stuff. But the difference that it would have as opposed to the Gambit mode in Destiny 2 is that the final round isn't some final boss for each, for each character set, but rather each other. And depending on how quickly you're able, each team is able to run through their dungeon is going to determine how powerful they are for that final round. So, if one team does a better job than the other team, that first team is going to have more tricked out gear than the other team. Does that make sense? Awesome! That's what I thought. Next up, we got some more gameplay footage for Mortal Kombat 11. That one is expected out in four, on the 23rd of April. And if you didn't already know, Mortal Kombat is kind of a shooter, like an RPG type thing. It's it that that's what combat is, right? It's a shooter. I wouldn't know. I I only got the complete edition of MKX and played Rising Legends and you, you know everything with Shao Kahn and all that it's anyway a few things we can expect are Jax, Kung Lao and or yeah Kung Lao and Liu Kang to be coming forward into this installment and they're one thing that I am extremely looking forward to is that both the past and future versions are going to be available for quite a few of the characters. For example, uh, there is one of the things that 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 was featured in the gameplay trailer was zombie versions of Raiden and Liu Kang. Honestly, that just kind of blew my mind. And you, you, and not just those two, but like future versions of Jax and like a, a side version of Johnny Cage. And there was this amazing fatality that Scorpion did with the, the fire dragon that just like ate this other person. It's freaking cool. Next up, just gotta kind of let my brain explode for a minute. Next up, we got a little bit more game footage for Days Gone and the new Crash Team Racing reboot. Days Gone is, if you didn't already know, like a zombie type survival thing. That one is expected on the fourth, on the 26th of April. So. If you haven't already gotten that planned out, that one is expected to drop 
in just about a month. So do keep an eye out for that. Next up, we like obviously we have Crash Team Racing. That one's coming out on the 21st of June. If you don't already have that one pre-ordered, you've probably gotten a, a ton of news about it from the PlayStation Store asking you to pre-order it. <coughs> and like I said, there was some new gameplay footage released for it, talking about all of the updates that it had as opposed to the original version that came out on the PS1. So do keep an eye out for that if you if it isn't already. So hope you guys liked it. Oh, almost forgot. This is the first the the first state of play of many that will be coming out throughout the year so do keep an eye out for those hopefully you guys liked it if you did let me know if you didn't let me know and as always don't forget to let me know how much you hate me giving you all this news and stuff and junk and i'll see you guys later ta-ta for now